with me to discuss the exciting first innings is Sanjay Mandraka. Sanjay, not the perfect start for India, but what a comeback. Absolutely. Something about India when they play Australia, because when the match began, you would think, you know, Australia's strong favourites are uh, in much better form. India has had an up and down tournament, very good on occasions, uh, not so good on others, but the batting has been magnificent uh, despite the loss of, two, uh, loss of two early wickets. And we saw a smile on Mitali Raj's face. I mean, there would be questions about her form, but what a classy knock. Yes, and uh, it also was an innings that was played in the right uh, pace mm. that India needed. They needed somebody who would also ensure that India don't, didn't lose too many wickets. Plus, also, you know, a certain rhythm was there to the innings. So, this was the perfect uh, kind of innings. And it suited her also that she came in the sixth over when India had lost two wickets. So, this was Mitali Raj's comfort zone to ensure that India wasn't losing too many wickets. So, she could take her time easing into the innings too. And then Harman Preet came on and hit the big ones. <laughs> came in the 32nd over. And that is a travesty for me. Somebody like <laughs> Harman Preet Kaur batting in the 32nd over. It's a bit like in the men's game having Virat Kohli bat in the 32nd over. She's got to be a number three. But no matter what, I mean, despite that, it, it has been a fantastic innings and stayed there till the end. And thanks to her. I mean, I know the foundation was laid, but India was in a spot of bother. When you know they lost a couple of wickets getting into the last ten, who knows you know what could have happened. But in the end, I think a very very good score on the board. Australia, by their high standards, I think they'd say that bowling performance was average. I don't think Elise Perry would be used to going to bowling twelve balls in an over. What what do you make of that? Uh, yeah, she recovered after that first over that went for sixteen. Australia, you would think that they had their worst game today so far in the field. Um, the seam bowlers lacked direction. They started off quite well, I thought. Uh, spinners to begin with the first spells of you know Gardner and of course uh, Alana King wasn't uh, what you expected so right through I guess maybe it's the win factor too uh, but this was in Australia at their best basically lacking control and I thought the spinners were a little short today because they feared the power of somebody like a Harman Preet Kaur short straight boundaries very few bowlers would be brave enough to bowl it full where you can get hit straight Absolutely. Now, Australia need 278. Can India do it? Can they defend the total? See, India have got the runs on the board and there are signs that these are good batting conditions. So you would think Australia with the kind of batting lineup that they have, the form they are in. But it's chasing, chasing 277 runs. That is where, you know, it becomes difficult. Batting first and getting 277 runs versus the knowledge of chasing 270 it's like getting 300 runs batting first oh it's going to be exciting sanjay yes, thanks for absolutely. joining me thank you let's enjoy this run chase thank you